hey guys welcome back to another brand new youtube video this your girl aka the chicken nugget we back with another video so basically i'm not showing my house uh -oh. i was crying because you know i haven't seen my daughter in like two weeks personal reasons personal reasons i kind of told a little bit about it my baby daddy probably gonna get mad Cause I told like my side of the story, like you know how I met him. Like he probably like, man, I didn't do nothing to you. I fed you. It's like men just don't know what they're doing. You know, they're not like emotionally available. You know, they're all numb and shit. They're all like, mm -hmm. they're like, <laughs> they look like like they're about to die like they're really really numb they don't really you know they just think logically um first of all i give you food i didn't mm. yeah. <laughs> like think like people don't think like like they don't put their self in my shoes they don't do that they don't care those are the type of people that i've been dealing with so i kind of told my side of the story you know about how i met my baby daddy because i obviously was obsessed with him and everyone's like you always talk about your baby daddy you always talk about your baby. well i'm not obsessed with him actually it's called you're being traumatized. <laughs> so I just told my side of the story. He might get mad. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm just saying what's my side of the story. That's just it. So if people think I'm crazy, well, think whatever you want. Because. You know, I don't want no problems, but I'm going to tell the truth. The heck? <sighs> That's for sure. Okay, so I got this on. Look, look at this, guys. This is why I haven't been posting, kind of, because I can still post. It's just I'm, like, you know, posting this video. But it's kind of like. But yeah, I'll post my other videos when like I catch up to whatever. And then I can just, you know, relax. Do whatever. So I'ma just, you know, I'll post a little little something. That's nasty. Ooh. So I got in this bra. So basically, this doesn't fit me. You know your girl with skinny slim tick. Y'all know it. Y'all be telling me, um, you're getting a little thicker. Are you okay? Uh, uh. Yes, it's called depression. It's called postpartum depression. Oh my God. Nobody's perfect. Nobody finna look like Barbie all the damn time. Little pedo. I ain't gonna look like I ain't gonna look like that girl when I start YouTube. I'm not I'm not ever gonna look like her. Ever again. I got hips now. I got meat in my bones. I can lose this weight. It's just I'm not gonna look the same. Damn. I'm a grown woman now. I ain't I ain't 16, I ain't 17, I ain't 18, I ain't 19, I ain't 20. That's five years ago. I made this sh ah! I'm so proud of me. And I just want to cry. I thank the Lord. No, I don't even pray. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I just feel like I don't believe in anything. I just believe in myself. I, I hope my daughter is okay. I put that on what? Myself. Because honestly, what? Because God ain't helping me. <laughs> I 
Because God, why God did all this to me? Yeah, I used to believe in God. I used to pray and pray and pray. And then all of a sudden, I stopped and everything went, oh, okay. I'm the devil's daughter. Hey, it's okay. Hey. I'd rather be in a freaking rich house with bugs. I just saw a freaking fly. Then going to homeless with a lot of money. I don't get what Tisha. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to wear this. This doesn't fit me. Again, I have ADHD. I'm... <laughs> I'm not high. I'm not drunk. This is just me. People already think I'm... <laughs> I just never can be myself because... I just never been myself, honestly. I feel like I'm gonna be one of them transgender women that just come out and be like, yeah, I'm a guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so sorry for the people that are transgendered. I was just trying to make a joke, honestly, because I said, I don't even know who I am. So I made the show. <laughs> Let's go to the gym. I haven't ate all day. I haven't slept all day. So we're basically going to quit again. We're going to quit smoking. Heck no. What the fool? My mom's still alive and she cool. <laughs> So, I'm going to stop smoking little green, but I am going to start drinking one soda, like one can, not no over one bottle or one cup of soda. Like, that's what I'm going to do. I, I have to go back where I was eating before pregnancy. This is going to be so hard. <laughs> Give me that fucking pizza. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have to blow my nose, so. I'm sorry, there's no, there's no, um. Oh, freaking Jesus. <sighs> As you can see, all them boxes been there for two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> I don't know who I am. I don't know who that is. I don't know. I didn't do that. Because if I was the girl last year, I would have been picked everything. I would have been up in the gym. But, yeah, once y'all, you know. Hold on, y'all. Because there's a fucking bug. Because my slow, lazy, depressed, postpartum depression booty butt don't want to get out of the bed. Don't want to sleep. Don't want to eat. And you're trying not to go to the mental hospital. Because that doesn't help you. That's for crazy people. I'm not crazy. I'm tired. <laughs> but if you're like, you know, if you need help, you can always go to the mental hospital. Like, I feel like to the point you need the mental hospital because I've been there for three times, and I was young, and I didn't even know what it was. I thought it was a playground first, second time. Uh, oh, I remember that one. I, my, I was losing my mind. I'm not going to lie. Postpartum depression, lost my mind. And then third time, like, that was the last straw. Because after, like, I'm like, okay, I'm 
I'm not supposed to be here. Because after, like, you know, I got some good rest. I woke up, and I'm like, oh, brand new. Let's go. <laughs> Workout time. And they're like, yeah, you're going to be here for, like, a minute. I'm like, no, I feel good. And they just left me there. I talk so much. <laughs> Let me go get my shirt. You see what I'm talking about? God, I talk so much. I talk so much. I don't even care. So this is the shirt. This is like a little charm haul, I guess. But y'all, yeah, I'm trying to like, you know, get on my business. So if you see like videos not matching up, I'm just posting, posting. Because I want to get back to all my grind. Even though I miss my daughter. I just want to take her out. I don't want her to bring her here. But I want to like take her out, you know. Because I have to do stuff and I don't want her here to do it, if you know what I mean. So, plus, I be trusting my daughter with that family than my mom. Because, again, I told y'all my mom is like, you know, she's, she's going to have a kid, you know, with her little new man. No offense. But I'm kind of jealous. They're all together. And then when my baby daddy said pictures. And once he said we're on the way to the aquarium. I literally cried because. I literally cried. Like I literally was so emotional. Like I was going to have a breakdown. And I'm like nope let's go to the gym. Nope nope. Stop. Come on. You can't just stay here like. Your money is the way you look. So, it's just like, I got to get this off me so I can, like, you know, get ching <laughs> It's not funny. It's traumatic. I'm just kidding. Like, once you start, once you start selling your soul to the devil, <sighs> ah, you're the devil. But you're not really the devil. You feel me? You just the baby. Nah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't read the Bible when you're mentally ill. Because I will freaking freak it up your mind. But it actually works though. Like, once you're like mentally ill, the only thing you... They're like, here's a book, read this. And then your brain is just focusing on God, right? And I just... I was just... It was crazy in the mental hospital. But again, if you do need help, go to the mental hospital. Like, I mean, like, I went there three times. The third time was over with. So if you need to get keep going back there until you get fixed or, you know, someone slap you in the head <laughs> to get out of there, go as much as you can. But I feel like your third time should be it. Like, it shouldn't be, like, the fourth time fifth time because once you keep going back i literally my mom just told me like once i kept going back they kept keeping me inside longer and longer and longer trying to figure out what's wrong because you're always coming back so basically you know what i have bipolar disorder adhd that's all i have and postpartum depression and depression that's literally all i have and i was thinking i was like i have autism or something because i couldn't like move i couldn't do anything but basically if you need help go go to the freaking hospital and be like i need help i got raped i got this i got that oh i'm traumatized oh i'm pregnant i don't <laughs> but yeah basically you gotta pick yourself up like you can't just keep going to the damn hospital thinking 
it's gonna fix you no you gotta like start learning how to like you know build yourself up because nobody here is here right nobody's gonna tell me get up kenisha because if i heard my mom she'll call me fat she'll call me a lot of things she called me lazy and that that won't let me get up <laughs> you know how parents be they be calling you anything man get y'all right get y'all lazy booty up damn but my mom was worse i ain't gonna lie to you <laughs> but that's it I have to freaking. Oh my god. That's a mess. <laughs> Part two, cut me through.